on how your genitals. I've been wanting to make this series for a cool while now, but I wanted to make sure I was uploading regularly. Well, looks like I am, but that might change. Y'all know me. Although, if you don't get two videos a week, you'll at least get this. So... You're welcome. Basically, a small report of what happened within the last week regarding celebrities, YouTubers, yada, yada, yada. Y'all don't need an explanation. Shut up. Y'all better enjoy this shit. It's not easy making one video with multiple topics. I gotta do research. It's exhausting. Oh, Bomba rapper Sheck West was accused of domestic abuse by ex-girlfriend singer Justine Sky. Now, usually in cases like these, there's little to no evidence because Hollywood likes to keep people quiet. Mm -hmm, I know that's right. Y'all ain't slick. But, oh! We have the receipts. She had talked about this, but never said Sheck's name. Just said she's been abused. She went to Twitter to say that Sheck stalked, attacked, and assaulted her and her friends, and that the people defending him are liars and pathetic, knowing he does beat women. Sheck responded saying he wanted to remain silent about the situation until now, and that he feels disrespected because Justine is spreading lies about him. He says that he had never hit any women and never jumped anyone. Justine uploaded a video of Sheck jumping her fence, allegedly to attack her again. Justine. Damn, his odds are definitely not in his favor. Sheck said that the video was of him trying to get his stuff because Justine refused to give his things to him. But nigga, this is still breaking and entering, so even if that was the case, nobody told your ass to hop someone's fence without their permission. Justine said that that was not the case, saying she had put his stuff in garbage bags and that she was trying to give him his stuff back, but he reacted violently. Reportedly, he has headbutted her, slapped her, spat on her. She recalls an incident where he had launched her phone across the room, slapped her across the face with money, and said, quote unquote, get a new one, bitch. And two guards had to hold him down from attacking her. I don't know about y'all, but this story is stressing me the flippity flop out. She provided textual evidence to say she was locked in her room, waiting for her friends to come, that she was terrified, some crazy shit. I doubt Justine is gonna go out of her way to ruin his career. He's a one hit wonder. She's doing her own thing. Before you assume she didn't go to the police, she did, but they didn't do anything. Ugh, there's a shocker. They swept it under the rug and called her a difficult victim. So she went to Twitter to spread the news. But who's to say that text conversation wasn't fake? Who's to say that that video wasn't trimmed? Who's to say she isn't lying? But in this case, I'm gonna go team Justine until proven wrong. She has some little evidence and check his disrespected woman in his songs before. So it's like, eh, but let me know what you guys think. Wood unlocked CEO Jason Lee is under fire for rude comments on Ariana Grande. Now this, just sit down. If you are already sitting down, then sit on the floor. Just, just sit down. Just some insane shit. On a podcast he owns, he said that pop singer Ariana Grande was R. Kelly's snack, that people who are attracted to her should be considered pedophiles, that she's an underage piece of meat. He also had something to say about Nicki Minaj. Just watch. Just watch. Just, just, just watch. Just watch it. Watch it. Ariana be doing way too much. Ariana Grande, you Grande. be doing way too much, bro. First of all, I'm happy that Pete Davidson has a smile on his face again. You almost killed him. You almost, we almost murdered him. Almost ruined this dude's life. Second of all, you chose to be friends with Nicki Minaj, and you know clearly you pick losers. Pick the wrong knows. team. And and third of all, if I ever see you on an award show opening your legs up during a performance like you Beyonce or you got, girl, you look like. R. Kelly's snack. She need to stop. <laughs> she looks like an underage piece of meat ready to be pissed on by Robert. Oh, oh, Robert. So done, Jason. Robert. <laughs> so do you look at men weird if they wanted to date Ariana Grande? Because she is if you're, Oh, if you're fucking Ariana Grande, you want to fuck little kids. For sure. That's not true. Absolutely. She's That's not a woman. Not. That is not a woman. That's a little girl. That's a grown woman. If she walked in here, she'd have to sit on your lap to do this interview. <laughs> But and, I mean, she has a beautiful album. Woman, what's grown about her? Her so, hair. Okay, her let's, hair, okay, her let's hair take her grown. out of it. Her Look at grown. Janae Aiko, right? Same body type, but she in her well, her face is it looks like a woman. What's the difference? You see, you Janae's, see that's a, body, <laughs> Janae's body is very small. It's very small. It's so very, wait, wait, somebody, what I'm not going to do is have you instigating my commentary because <laughs> you think I'm about to go there and I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go there today. I'm just going to say. Janae looks grown in the face. Uh, sure. Maybe because she acts a little ratchet. She or I don't know what it is. You think it's the pigtails that Ariana wears? You think that you fucking a little girl with pigtails? I don't know. Maybe because Ariana has like a. Because she a grown woman. Yeah, but you know, Mariah. Got I think that. she's the same yeah, but, age. Is but, but I think I don't know. She just gives me very innocent, uh, Ariana. 
She just ain't the, no, innocent. Just the girl that steals donuts and spits no, in I donuts. No, but I'm saying that image. And almost I don't killed Pete. Ariana. She almost killed Pete. They, girl, you know you almost killed that man. <laughs> put his name all on your body and put a so, ring on your finger and killed him off and put him in a song. Like, you, that's an evil piece of... But I, I've never seen... This is so gross. I've never... What? Ariana has no control of her body and her looks. I'm so... I'm so confused. I also love how he says, oh, but she has a beautiful album. Like, that's going to justify something. Oh, you're ugly and no one will ever love you, but you have a nice pair of shoes. That's how the fuck you sound. Dumb. He craves attention, good or bad. And saying Ariana almost killed Pete, that's so fucking horrible. Pete is a grown-ass man. I get that their relationship wasn't the healthiest, but Jesus Christ, have some consideration. the same man who stalked Beyonce. So, this is the same man who was molested as a child, but then you go around and call Ariana bait for pedophiles. Where's the correlation? How does your brain work? Why are you like this? I'm so, oh, uh, then you're going to call Nikki a loser. Like, what is so, What is wrong with you? Oh, I'm so irritated. He did apologize, but I don't care. You meant what you said, bitch. You ain't sorry. You don't say stuff. Uh-uh. You don't. No, 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 baby. You don't say stuff like that, then do a switcheroo, and then apologize. You meant exactly what the fuck you said. You only, you, ooh, ooh, ooh. So you only apologize because people caught your ass. You're in a... I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm okay. I'm okay. What up, everybody? This is Jason Lee. I guess I got the internet talking. Most of you know me as being unfiltered, unapologetic, and unafraid to say what I think. But even me may go a little too far over the line sometime, and I think I did with Ariana Grande. So I'm sending a personal apology to her. Ariana, I apologize for going too far in my commentary, and I don't apologize to nobody, but I feel like you are old one, so I'm giving it to you today on Valentine's Day. And to her fans, the Arianators, I think that's how I say your name. I love how y'all fight for the queen, for your queen. So I, to you, apologize wholeheartedly. I don't want no smoke. So you know what? All I got to say is thank you. Next. I guess you can take what you got. Although he talking about y'all know me as wholeheartedly. I don't got no filter. Bitch, I didn't even know who the hell you were before two days ago. So Arianators leaked his phone number. Y'all some crazy bitches. But in this case, I'ma just pretend I didn't see shit. They may be here when you don't want them, but they're right on time. Most likely true, there is rumor going around that Ethan and Emma are a confirmed couple. A friend of Emma's, Olivia Roer, uploaded a vlog. Within the vlog, there was a photo of Ethan and Emma that almost resembles Ethan kissing her cheek while Grayson is holding up a peace sign. Someone fixed the saturation to make the picture a little bit more clear. I know you Ethma shippers are just creaming your pants right now, huh? I don't watch either of their channels. I don't follow them. I don't know much about them, but they're cute. I've watched moments on YouTube, and you know, even if they're not a couple, they have a really good friendship. So I guess I ship them as friends, but I don't know. All I know is whenever that we're dating video releases, whoo, them views gonna be higher than six nine cellmates. Although I don't think they'll say anything until she's eighteen and legal of age because they are two years apart. I believe she's seventeen and he's nineteen. That's what I've heard, and in a lot of states that's not legal or a lot of people don't approve of that. So even if they are dating or they're talking or whatever, I don't think she'll say anything until. At least for a while. She's living that your name, why in life. If you know what I mean, then you know what I mean. So, so, how we feeling? Do you like Weekly Roundup? Do you prefer individual videos? Do you like this video with multiple topics? Do you prefer one video with just one topic? Do you like this because I took three fucking hours on it? Let me know. Let me know how you feel about each situation below, and I hope you guys stay tuned for the next video because this one is now over. Talk to y'all later.